Now, what I want to do, I want to ask you about that little story you told me about Paddy Doherty when he took you out lobster, well, that lobster pot, yeah. and you brought a lobster on to Miss Mangum's. Uh, two. Right, I want you to tell me about that mm. day, what you can remember. Mm. Are you ready now? Yeah, you, you talk. Well, first time I ever went to Balbriggan, we went for a walk down to Arbour. And we were talking to a bloke who I found out afterwards was the harbour master. And uh, anyway, Paddy come in and he used to put his rowing boat up, up, a, up a steps at uh, the at, uh, lighthouse. And I was introduced to him and I arranged with him to take me out to a lobster pot next time he went out. Well, he two dogs. One dog used, used to sit on the side and wouldn't go on board at any price. Other dog, a little white dog, he insisted on being first on board. Anyway, he took me out to Lobster Pop, so around Kaji. And uh, then we came back. He got quite a few lobsters, you know, and then rebaited his pots and dropped them down again. And it a keep, like a, a a big galvanized tank that were round near Bowery. And he used to put lobsters in there till it enough to be taken to market. You know, so it uh, it alone. Well, they gave me a couple of big lobsters. They were big ones and all to take back. And he just tied them somehow with a piece of string together. And oh, I'm right proud of these two lobsters. Now walking back to Miss Mangum's with these. And as I'm holding them away from me, they must have swung a bit. And one of the buggers grabbed my, grabbed my, my leg through my sound. Oh, blimey! Now, oh! And the bloke come past, and he said, what's the matter? I said, oh, because this is got hold of me. He said, hang on. And he got, a, he got a pencil and offered it to one to cloth, and it let go of my leg, so then I rolled it about a yard off my leg after that. <laughs> Made a great bruise on my leg. But when I got back to Mangum's, there were two Miss Mangum's, Marcella and Mary. Marcella was the big one, Mary's was the smaller one. And they used to row like belly over, they were best of pals. I told her what I've got, I said, do you want to do with these? She said, oh yes, 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 they would be. I said, well be careful, I'll tell her what had happened, and she bust out laughing. Oh, she says, you'll respect them in future, shall you? I said, no, you're not kidding. Anyway, she got a big pot. Fill it with water, set it boiling, then drop lobsters in it and put lid on. Well, we were sat having a meal and suddenly there was such a yell. Oh! And Marcella in her eye a spin. And I went into the kitchen, their kitchen, and one of these lobsters pushed the lid up and got out of the pan. And it was crawling about steam, and it was steaming out on the floor. Oh, what shall we do, what shall we do? I said, come on. So she got a little shovel, a big shovel up, scooped big lobster onto it, dropped it back and put lid back on. And then she, she put a, a, a old iron on top of it so she couldn't lift it off again. <laughs> Were they nice? Oh, aye. No you, nicer than fresh lobster, is oh, there? Oh, fresh lobster. But another thing about that, when I was going out with the uh, fishermen, they were taking me out. You know, they go out to some of the 
tight that allows them to get out at half in the morning. So I asked Miss Bank if I'd the alarm clock I could borrow. Well, she looked at me and she disappeared. This is the first week ever, ever in Ireland for me. And she come back with two alarm clocks. She said, that one tells the time nicely, but the alarm doesn't ring. And this one, alarm works, but it doesn't tell time. I said, oh my God. I just said to her, repair one alarm clock, so it didn't work. So it's hilariously funny that. Now one tells the time and the other the alarm works.